Hi, today I want to do a meditation, a healing meditation to bring in more love to the world, to the things that are going on in the world, or even just to anything going on within your own energy field, within your body, within um, situations regarding your life. So love is the energy that heals all things. And it truly is the energy of the source field, the God energy. It's this high vibration of love. And so through this meditation, healing will come through. I'm sure I'm just going to channel it as it comes and um, get ready to raise your vibe. And as you do so, you send that energy out into the world. And so the more of us that can lift our vibe to this love, can send love out, the more we'll see changes quicker and quicker on the planet. It's already happening. A lot of this stuff is all due to everything changing, the vibration changing. We're in this major shift of this awakening that's going on, this ascension of the planet. And so the more of us who can join into this energy of love and send that out, the easier this transition will be. So stick around for that. So I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And I work towards helping people to love their life, to live their life through this high vibration of love, that energy that heals all. <laughs> So today we're going to go through meditation and um, let's just dive right in. So just get yourself in a comfortable position. Hopefully you're not driving a car, <laughs> listening to the audio, because I also put these, um, my videos onto my um, podcast. Uh, so anyway, you don't want to be driving a car. I want you to be very relaxed. I, I would invite you to close your eyes. You don't have to, but it just helps to cut out the outside world when you do that. And so just closing your eyes, sitting in a chair, laying on a bed, however it is that is comfortable for you. I invite you now to just take a beautiful deep breath. Just. Take it in all the way into your belly and then letting it out and taking in another deep healing breath. Hold it and then slowly letting it out. So we're going to bring this breath right into the belly one more time. Breathing in. Hold it. Slowly letting it out. And you can start to feel your body relaxing. Thoughts in your mind are probably becoming less and less. And don't worry about having no thought. Thought always comes in. And what's beautiful is that when you lower your, when you quiet down and you allow your actual vibration to raise as your body falls into that peaceful place, You really can tune in and become so connected to this beautiful field of love, this universal energy, that inspiration can come through. So if thoughts are coming in that you know are about what you have to do today, um, problems you've had with this one or that one or that kind of thing, we're just going to say no to those thoughts, talk to the hand, send them away, put them in little bubbles, just send those thoughts away. But if you have these loving thoughts or inspirational thoughts come through, just look at them and allow them to be there, right? Just look at it. So anything that is not of service to you during a meditation, you can just send it away. And all of the other energies that want to come, you just allow them to come in. So sometimes you do receive those in thoughts. So do not worry about having a totally quiet mind. So let's take another deep breath in, letting it out. 
And on this next breath in, I want you to imagine you're pulling in all of the energy you've scattered out and about in the universe in the past couple of days, today, last week, whatever it might be. We're just gonna pull all that energy, like where you've given pieces of yourself away, pulling that energy in, your in breath, and then on the out breath, we're just releasing any lower energies. So you're recalling your energy on the in breath and you're releasing lower vibrations on the out breath. You're releasing energy that doesn't belong to you because you are pure love. You are light. So any lower energies, they really don't belong to you. So we're gonna let them go. So let's do that one more time. So deep breath in, calling in all of the scattered energy you've left out and about, and then sending any lower energies out. Out through the bottoms of your feet, down into the earth to be transmuted back to pure love. And so I'd like you now to imagine there's a spiritual sun up above and it's shining down. This beautiful light is coming into the top of your head, coming into your crown chakra. And as it does, it's just releasing any stuckness there, allowing for the flow to open, allowing harmony, balance. So we're just going to do that with each chakra as you go down. And so as you go, this light comes in, it's going down a little lower into that third eye. Same thing. Just allowing the energy to do its thing, to allow the flow of energy, and releasing any stuckness. And as it travels down through your head, we're just relaxing your, all the little muscles around your eyes, around your jaw, coming down now into your throat opening, balancing, harmonizing that throat chakra, letting go of any stuckness there. Feeling this beautiful energy spreading into your shoulders, going down through your arms, out through your hands, just allowing this energy to just flow through your body gently and easily. And now coming down into the heart chakra. Yeah, feels good. Feel how the energy starts to open up here. I felt a huge opening there. So just allowing that heart chakra to open, release, balance and harmonize. And now this beautiful light's traveling down into the solar plexus. Again, just clearing that chakra, balancing it, opening it up, allowing for this free flow of energy so that you can be totally harmonized and balanced and feel and sense the energy, the truth of you as you're doing this. So through each of these chakras we go through, feel yourself expanding even further, your energy just opening. And so now allowing this energy, this light to travel down to the sacral chakra. Again, just releasing any stuckness there opening up the flow, balancing and harmonizing that chakra. And going down now into the root chakra. Same thing, just opening that area, releasing any stuck energy, any blockages, just letting it go. Really allowing all of these chakras to be open, harmonized, and starting to feel yourself grounding in with this light as it passes through your body. So this light comes through all of these chakras. It's now going down through your legs, just washing away any lower energies down into the earth. This lower energy is flowing down out through the bottoms of your feet. And this beautiful light, it just keeps coming. It doesn't stop. It's always there for you. You can always tap into this light. You just have to choose. I like to think of a little switch where I can just flip the switch and the light starts pouring in. Use your imagination, find ways for yourself to allow this beautiful flow of energy. And so this light now, it's almost like it forms this cord or a ribbon. Sometimes I see it as ribbons of all of the different color chakras, like a ribbon of each color coming down 
and then kind of twirling together and creating this cord going down deep into the earth and wrapping itself around the earth so that you can feel grounded and safe and secure as we allow our energies to expand. And so the earth energy then sends her beautiful energy, this earth, Mother Gaia, up through that rainbow cord, that light cord, coming up into the bottoms of your feet, just feeling this beautiful earth energy as it comes up through your legs, your thighs, your hips, coming up along your spine, with dancing with that heavenly energy as it came down, right? So the two energies just flowing together, going up, going down, and feel this earth energy as it now goes up and out through your crown chakra and wrapping itself, this cord wrapping all the way up around the spiritual sun. So now you're just being held in this beautiful energy of the heavens of the earth. So just allow yourself to feel the flow of this energy and anything that would prevent you or block you from being in the flow with this love and this universal energy we just ask that that just be released let it go send it to the light dissolve it in all of this light and now i'd like to to imagine like say there's this pole going up and down your spine and this beautiful light is shining down into this pole, filling it up where so much light is filling up this pole and it's just pulsating out and expanding out past this pole into every single cell of your body. Really feeling that buzz of this energy in every cell of your body and also expanding out in all directions, above you, below you, all around you. Feel your energy expanding out. Five feet, 10 feet, 10 miles. Going out past your state into the next states. Traveling out, actually my teeth are vibrating so much as we're doing this. Really expanding that energy to now where you can feel like you're no longer energy in a body, but you're a body in your energy, right? You are so much bigger than your body. You're just feeling your expansion right now. The truth that you are above, below, all around, allowing this flow and the peace that is here within this energy. And so at this moment, I'd like you to imagine that you're just pulling in love, pulling it in through the top of your head, pulling it in through your hands, pulling it up in through your feet, really pulling in energy of love, this universal energy, this God energy. And I want you to imagine that as you're pulling it in, you're bringing it into your heart and you're allowing it to flow out so that energy is just flowing out as it comes in, as you pull it in, now you're sending it out through your heart to the whole world, to help to the earth, to the planet, to help it on this, this ascension that we're all going through. And for all of life on this planet, Sending that energy out. If you want, you can focus on family members, friends, clients, students, teachers, you know, wherever you want to focus even more energy and just send that right there, just telepathically through your heart. Sending that energy out. So as we send this energy out, it will dissipate the darker energies, the lower energies, the energies that are accumulating or being fueled into situations. 
or just blasting. So maybe take a situation, something going on in your life, something going on in the world at the moment, and we're just gonna send this burst of energy out, sending it out, sending this energy out. With the intention of allowing those problems, those situations to start to dissolve, to start to turn towards the light, to start to feel that love coming in because it's only from this high vibration of love that solutions can flow in, that inspiration, ideas can come of ways where you can help others or make things better, uh, whether they're in little situations or big situations, no matter what it is, something that you're creating, we're just fueling all of those things with love because as we're in this vibe, it's so easy to connect. The universe, God, source will send you your answers. We can even ask the question, each and every one of us, in what ways can I assist the planet in what ways can I assist the people? In what ways can I make this world a better place? You don't have to know. Don't get in your head. You don't have to figure it out. You're just opening up the question so that the solutions can come in. It's kind of like we're opening up and allowing a greater, um, let's call it like a, a, a tunnel or a stream for this inspiration, for these answers to drop in, for your guides, angels, to send you the answers, to give you the solutions. They're always sending you messages. So let's clear anything right now that will prevent you and forbid you, all beliefs and inner scenarios that would prevent you and forbid you from receiving the inspiration, from knowing and, and understanding the communication that wants to come to you from spirit that will assist you with whatever you're asking for. That's the thing we want to ask and then receive. And don't let the mind get in the way. We don't want to put time limits on anything. We're going to allow this energy of the universe to let things fall in line so that what you desire will actualize into your life. Will become part of your reality. So while we're in this energy, allowing this expansion to flow even more, I'd like to do a clearing for you to release any beliefs and inner scenarios that would prevent you and forbid you from knowing your truth, this energy that you are. Yeah, for anyone who's having any difficulty feeling this energy, which is flowing so strong, you want to clear any vows, oaths, decisions that you've ever made that would block you and forbid you from feeling and sensing energy. Throughout your entire existence, anything that was there, where you've decided it maybe it was not safe, for you to tune in in this way, for you to just know. We want to clear all of that, for you to be able to feel and sense this energy, this constant flow. It's always there. This flow is always there. It's just how much are we allowing it? So let's do a clearing for anything that would block you, forbid you from allowing yourself to be in this flow. Source energy only sees you as a success, only sees you as a creator, because we are all one. A creator energy, source energy, God energy, however you like to refer to it, it's the energy you're feeling right now. It's the energy of love. Yeah. So swim with this energy, feel this vibration. Now it's very soft, very subtle. 
It might still be buzzy for you. You may feel it in many different ways. Heat, cold. Just notice your body. And let's send love directly to your body. Let's download this beautiful energy of love into every single cell of your body. And anything that prevents you and forbids you to truly love your body and every single cell of it, can we now uncreate and destroy all of that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyond. You don't know that clearing, that's access consciousness clearing. And so now at this time, while you're in this energy that is flowing, I'd like you to call in a guide, a spirit guide, and trust however this spirit guide comes to you, even if it's a family member, right? Buddha, Jesus, uh, angel, in particular, Archangel, Angel Michael, Ariel, Gabriel, Raphael, there's so many. However, this beautiful light, this being of light wants to come to you. Just imagine now that that being is right there with you, right in front of you. And just feel that energy of this, this guide this master and ask for a message something that will take you further on your path and just sit quietly and you might receive a message right now you might feel like you hear it you just know it you see a picture of some sort and maybe you don't hear or see or acknowledge a message at this very moment just know that it will come it will come because you've asked for it. And that, that master, that guide is there with you right now. And now thank this guide for this beautiful message. Yeah. And let's send out one more huge blast of light blast of love out there to the universe out there to all these different situations that are showing up at this time as we're going through this ascension a lot of like turbulence comes up so energy can be released and sometimes it comes in dramatic ways because that allows for a huge burst of energy being released and so much more love coming in so let's just send that energy out Yeah, just really feeling the flow of this energy going out through your heart, out to whatever it is you feel drawn to send it to. And just know that you can do this anytime. You don't have to be in a meditation to do it. Just connect to the love. Maybe you, right now you can just kind of tap on your heart chakra, right? Kind of like a trigger for this energy that you're swimming in. And then use that at any time in any place where you are and kind of tap into it's like okay i'm tuning into this energy i'm just going to flow love to this situation love to this person love to this problem whatever it might be love is the answer love heals all <sighs> okay it starts to make me get a little giggly after a while so let's start pulling our energies back, right? Pull in yourself, pull in your awareness. We just spread our awareness and consciousness out so far. We wanna start pulling it back, back into your body, slowly, easily, gently, maybe wiggling your toes, your fingers, right? Stretching just a little bit, opening your eyes. And you can still feel this energy. It doesn't just go away. It's there. You're just really still tapped into it. 
but at the same time I want to make sure you ground back so let's do that just imagine now you taking your energy and you're going down into the center of the earth and you're just scooping up this beautiful earth energy and just feeling yourself connected, rooted in. Sometimes it helps to feel like you're sending roots out into the earth. Oh yeah, I felt that. Roots out into the earth and just like, just like pulling yourself back down in, connected. After all, we live here on the earth, right? So you want to have that balance of holding this high vibration and feeling grounded and connected to the earth. And so I'm going to leave you with that. I would love to hear any comments, um, maybe share what master appeared for you or any images or messages that you received. Uh, I'd love to hear any anything about how you felt. Could you feel that expansion? Oh, and one more thing, just know you can always form this bubble of light around you, especially those empathic people, so that whenever you're going somewhere where there's a lot of people or where something unfolds, maybe at a you know, family gathering, and you feel the energy of what's going on over there, you don't want to take it in. So you just pull this energy in, maybe do that tap, bring the energy, that light in here, send the light to whatever's happening out there, and just allow for this flow of love to come through, nothing else. I like to put a chain mail around my bubble so that it's like this barrier, so that it's like, doesn't let anything that is not for my highest good in and only allows the love to flow. Some people I know like to put um, like a silver lining, a reflective silver lining, so it just reflects away anything that's not love, but the love can pass right through because love heals everything and love can be sent instantly. I do have another video um, that's quite popular about sending love out telepathically. Uh, I'll link that up in here. So anyway, go out, be the love that you are, share that love. That's our job right now. That's, that's what we're required to do. It's just to send love, share love, build things up, heal, help, Everybody's a healer. Everybody can be a healer. All it is is tapping into your true nature, allowing that flow of that light, that love, and sending it out. And you know, one of my teachers once told me, and I believe it's true because I, I can feel that, um, if a soul or someone you're sending love to is not willing to receive it, they're not opening enough to receive it, it's not wasted. It'll bounce off that soul and go to another one. There's no wasted love. So send out lots of it. And I'll see you on another video. Bye.